motherfucker! Hey, she's there! this Do this! Implantations against my police. Please! I do not want them! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. Tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Easy. Nothing personal, Gopa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What? Man, never heard of Thieves' Honor. Finders Keepers. I was first. Listen, only one of two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? Can you got us? SCPD! Drop your weapons! You're under arrest! Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce wiser. Hey, <clears throat> Detective Stintz. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stintz. <clears throat> Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Yeah? Yours ain't to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. You know, fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Hey, come on, Stintz. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, they'll just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, I'd probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck Ordinary you. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't float. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. OK. 
Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Well, yeah, hey, I, I, I... Now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. Felt I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Can I, can I? All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing on the creative. You go in, cash, get out. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD Roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything. Every little detail. Even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of six, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and uh, surf and Everybody! On the so, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Yeah, what I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Meth! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Well, get it, hey, no! Fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. 
Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. You gonna tell me what happened back there? <laughs> Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happened a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. strike before I do it. Typical. Knew I'd say that. You're for a fight. Which one of you's my guy? Me. Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins. Which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer. Stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks. And now they're... Well... Me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. Fine. But we're raising the stakes. Fair. See no problem with that. So? Well, can we, Can we get, get started? started? Show me what you got. Out of gas. 
new with Senora Wells. Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life. Here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. Oh, but well, we are. They just don't know it yet. Ready to get your cherry popped? <laughs> yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. When proper burials were still a thing. And who might you clowns be? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. This is it. Heart of Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest. Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fell asleep on that same bar. Looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age-old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. They wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Tonight city. And the afterlife. Ha <laughs> ha! landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. Problem, psycho suit! 
This looked like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Oh, okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Once in. Keep an eye on the AV for me, will you? I don't get paid to do that. I wasn't asking. I'm not a scratch on it when I get back. Welcome to Lizzie's. Good to see you too, Jack. How you been? Well, who do we have here? Grew up in Haywood. The whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Born here, live here, die here. Childhood memories. Hopping buildings. Running away from badges. Iron tasted blood from a split lip. Uh, oh, motherfucker. Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. Get the fuck out of Vista. It keeps getting jumped. Find some stronger tubers. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? We have arrived. The major. Ready to get your cherry bobbed? Yeah, come on! My childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills? <laughs> oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. We nomads choose who to make our family. A choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Miss this, you know? Camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste, no, hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in that city. Corpse got their grubby claws and everything. I have those reports you asked for. They were supposed to be ready yesterday. The world's going to tear us apart when the word gets around. The world's never going to find out. If I go down, you're going down with me! No! I'm not fucking joking! This isn't a request, V. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. If you work in our Arasaka counter intel, you're always fucked. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, I'll get somebody else to zero you. What's the rules, Jack? Wanna be top? Gotta have some skin in the game. Yeah, but you're not on top. The borough Arasaka is. And you're the pendejo who keeps him there. Work for yourself, live for yourself. That's the only way. You know 
how things work in Night City. The stronger survive, but that's how things stand. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Then C ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Or Maelstrom, depending on the season. One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. Chrome sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grinder. About time we had some fun! Big Maelstrom never forgets! Never! <laughs> I hate these Borg fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood and Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos and 6th Street have had a bigger bone to pick. 6th Street, why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Fucking stop! I've dealt with 6th Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before 6th Street shows up. Shot, shot, shot! Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh. Hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Time to bring on the future. Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized? If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys? Urban myth, I thought. Just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. The voodoo boys. Best runners in town. You do not steal from the voodoo boys. I see you. Always. For them, Pacifica's just Haiti 2.0. Their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf, our home. Until last week, the animals crawled in. Animals are the craziest fucking gang in the city. Breaker stop! Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle, someone else needed them. I fucked you over, you fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? My husband's new Westbrook. Very high in the tiger claws. They did what made the best eddies. Sold sex and black market tin. See a lot of tigers. They run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. I gotta do something! Shut the fuck up! The tigers will kill us. Come on, baby. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. So went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. Think you're some kind of gangu now, huh? Us moxes have each other's back. We look out for one another. You looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up with the mocks? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here. Huh? Au contraire. This is an ecosystem. Nomads wrapped in shiv, corporations, and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. What comes first? family or the outside world this family will go to hell and back everyone in this city lives in their own bubble and either you fly high or sink into quicksand in 2077 what makes someone a criminal getting caught <laughs> In Night City, you can become anyone, anything, if your body can pay the price. So seize the day, then set it on fire. Welcome to Night City. Yeah, come on! The only limit to what you can do 
is what you're willing to become. So dream big. If you can hack it, the future is yours for the take. In a huge open world like Night City, you need a chill ride to get around fast. And in Cyberpunk 2077, there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this! Four liter engine, six cylinder, goes from zero to 103.2 seconds. You fucking believe that? We've crafted every car and motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the chassis, the body, not to mention the interior. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique driving experience. All right, show me what you got. Don't expect advanced tech or luxurious materials here. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it's not the size that counts, I guess. This class is mostly utility vehicles and low-end clunkers made for every pocket. Hold on, hold on. It's a wreck. Uh -huh. My damn wreck. Well, definitely no guy or girl, Mac. If you need to impress, look to this class alone. What you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. With these wheels, no expense has been spared, no frill ignored. Their plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Masterful engineering and practical design. Trucks and tanks for when you need power and brute force. Hell of a machine. Neat beast. My pride and joy. And these monsters are literally unstoppable. These are for Chooms who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Their powerful engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for Timothy. Come on! I want to smell that choo-choo bird! Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets, with these high-powered beasts, you will have only respect. Oh yeah, I like that! If you need speed and armor, the Hypercar class is for you. It means precise bodywork, built-in LiDAR arrays, and really expensive materials. Imagine you're sitting on a pile of eddies. Probably less than a thousand people in the world can afford the Arendite. Not your typical urban vehicle. They will take you places you never dreamed you'd go.